All right, so Google just added a new feature to Flow where you can now create a video using the first and last frame. So this is actually a feature that has been around for quite some time in other AI tools, but only recently has been added to Google Flow, especially for the video to fast model. And basically here, you can create a video using a specified first and last frame. For example, I have this photo that I got from Pixabay. There is a woman standing next to a lake and then on the the last frame or the last photo she is sitting next to the leg and this is what the video look like i'm going to play the video so you can see the result uh, she's just standing there and you know moving into the last frame and it moves quite smoothly and there you go okay the last section was kind of janky because there was a quick transition but you can tell that it is the last frame or the, or the last pose based on the photo and you can also add some camera control that's why you see that the video is kind of or the camera is kind of moving a bit it's because i set the camera to be in motion throughout the video so here's how you can create a, this effect using first and last frames in the google flow website First, to use this new feature, you have to be in the Google Air Pro subscriptions. Otherwise, this is not possible. And then you can go to Google and then use the keyword Google Flow. I think that's the easiest way to find the website. And then you can click the first result, uh, labs.google.com slash flow, and then you can click it. And you can log in with your account. Usually, it will ask you to sign in using your Google account and your read some agreement etc just click agree and then you can start creating videos with flow so this is a feature where you can use some models from google especially video models to create videos or to create photo, uh, feed photos uh, videos from photos now let's create a new project i'm going to click this button all right now select this option you want to replace it from text to video to frames to video and then here i'll select the first frame i'm going to click this and you can click the upload button and you can also just generate some ai photo using the tool right here but i'm going to use a photo that i prepare on my computer so let me click this upload button and i want to try using this picture okay maybe there is something here that you need to know is that you have to i do recommend to use photos that are somewhat related for example on the first video i show you the pictures of two uh, scenes but they are actually the same woman wearing the same outfit and on the same scene i think that's uh good quality content good quality photos because it will make the transition between one frame to another to be smooth and remember we cannot use the latest model which is vo3 we can only use vo2 at the moment and even that is the fast version so it is not the most powerful model and also it was it is enabled to create audio or speech it's just a silent video and it is not the most powerful model that is something that you need to know and that's why i do recommend to have two photos that are somewhat related now now let's go back to flow again okay so the first photo has been set up i'm going to add the last frame the process is the same just select the photo and i'm gonna be using this photo i think they are the same person i, I think so they're the same person but in a different scene and here i just wait until the photos to be uh, processed by google it will usually check if the photo contains some famous person or maybe some uh, children or anything that is kind of exposing skin like wearing minimum uh, outfit that's usually going to be difficult to be processed and might be rejected so that's something that you need to know when you're using the video model it's very restrictive so just know that it could happen it's still going to be rejecting some photos anyway you can describe what are the things that will happen in the video so in this case i have a picture of a woman that's wearing a farmer's hat i believe and then i believe this is the same woman but she's not wearing that cap anymore so i guess it makes sense for me to make a prompt to use a prompt that look like this the woman or you know just she is removing the cap there you go it's simple as that and you can also add some camera control if you want to but i guess i'll try using uh, let me try static camera so it's not moving at all and then here you want to click the settings and be sure to select feature too fast 
Now, if you select any other model, it's going to tell you that, sorry, we cannot create a video using those models, so you have to use VOG fast. Right now, that's the only model that I can use for creating first and last frames, and I'm going to be using that. And also, you can select the number of videos that will be produced. By default, it is two videos, and I do recommend to use two videos so you can see or compare the results later because sometimes it's not always perfect. After that, uh, you can... Uh, if after, after you have done with the photos, with the prompting, all the settings, you can send the prompt and just wait for video to create the video based on the photos or first and last frames that you just provided. And this process will take quite a while, usually about one or two minutes. And I guess I'll be back with the result. Okay, it took less than one minute to complete and now I have two videos. Honestly, I haven't played these two videos, so this is going to be my live reaction to the result. So let's try the first video first. Okay, that looks good. Um... Okay, it kind of makes sense that it seems to be a continuity. I think it's still good, but maybe it, the quality is not great, perhaps because I'm using VO2 fast model. Now, let's try the other version. I'm going to click this. Okay, she's just not moving. Not moving. Okay, so I don't like the fact that for the past majority of the time, she's not moving, just blinking there. And maybe because uh, in part, I select the static camera. And that's why you might want to check a different camera setting and you, you probably will see a better result if the camera is moving in a certain direction. So you have to try some camera movement that would fit on your video. So in this case, honestly, I like some elements from the second video, but I prefer the first one it just makes more sense smoother and there is a continuity throughout the frames and by the way if you want to download this you can click the download button right here and the video and then you can uh, select the uh, resolution so after that you can uh, the native format sorry the resolution is 720p but it can be upscaled to 1080p for a slightly bigger resolution so uh that's basically it maybe there are a few things that you can do better here like you can make the prompt to be more specified you can select a more proper last and uh, first and last frames and also you can select the camera movement that is much more suitable for your videos but anyway that's basically it. That's how you can create a first and last frame video using VO2. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.